Shalom. Giving all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles, the bishops, the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations as always to the elect. And I wanted to uh, do a lesson um, straight to the point, Lord willing, uh, on the topic surrounding the statement uh, made by the Apostle Tahar of the prophets of this age, all right, which we believe through faith that we are the prophets, all right, no more than the prophets of old, okay? And ultimately, the prophets that are here in the earth in this time, all right, are the prophets of old coming back, all right, to expound upon the visions, all right, and understanding that they were given all right, when they were on the earth in the ancient captivities, all right, because the prophets pursuing to the book of uh, Luke, the first chapter around the 68 verse have been since the world began. OK, and they're in the earth in this age to receive their reward. All right. But before that reward is given. All right. They would prophesy, witness, preach, teach, exhort with all long suffering. All right. Until. The great day of Yahweh Shai would come because that's what the prophets are here to do, speak things into existence. Now, uh, that comment, you know, made by the apostle, you know, was used by Vocab Malone to pretty much make us look bad, you know. Um, and that's pretty much all Christians are doing at this point is using the words of the Israelites to try to make us look bad. They don't preach Jesus Christ anymore. All they do is either do videos on the Israelites or they're coming up to Israelite camps, all right, asking the same questions, okay, uh, of all of the, the, the heathen, everybody can be saved, all right, you can eat what you want to eat, we don't have to keep the laws, it's the same circulatory arguments that these Christians make, and pretty much they're at a point where their gospel and belief system is centered around and dictated upon riding a wave of the Israelites, and we'll see how far that gets you all. All right. This is the book of Sirach 27 and 9. As I just said, the prophets of old are back today. Okay. Sirach 27 and 9. The birds will resort unto their like. So will truth return unto them that practice in her. And as the scriptures tell you, I believe in the book of Wisdom of Solomon, uh, the first chapter Okay, wisdom is given unto the faithful in the womb. As the Lord told Jeremiah, before I formed you in the belly, I knew you and ordained you to be a prophet. So the prophets of old, all right, which the prophets were chosen from the foundation of the earth. All right, each particular spirit, all right, has a special assignment and is given the word of understanding to come unto the earth. All right, through, you know, their father and their mother having a union. All right. And then they grow up and at the time time allotted, they preach. All right. And they've been since the world began. All right. Pursuing. Let's get the book of Luke real quick. OK, Luke, the first chapter. Luke one and sixty eight. And to make a statement like that. All right. The, the, those who have ears to hear will be the only ones that receive that the prophets that are back here today have more understanding than the prophets of old because when you go to the prophets of old all right they receive visions that they themselves didn't fully understand okay you could hear it even when they were receiving the visions there were questions that they were asking but they wrote these visions down okay so that as a matter of fact let me get this real quick. Luke 1 and 68. Let's see here. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people and have raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. Okay. So the prophets, okay, have been since the world began. All right. And as we'll show you in our second edge of the fourth chapter, all right, they will continue coming into the earth. All right. Until that final. All right. Message 
would be spoken, which we believe this is in this time. All right, which they would expound on all of the visions. All right, that were given unto them in ancient times. All right, let's get the book of Habakkuk chapter two. All right, so of course, a Christian who, who has no understanding, all right, will use that statement made by the Apostle Tahar to uh, say, listen to how crazy these guys are. All right, you mean to tell me you have more understanding, all right, than, than, than John the Revelator? You, you have more understanding, all right, than Obadiah? Well, see, the, the, the difference between the prophets of old and them returning in this time is that they can make sense of all of those visions. They can make sense of who the Edomites are pertaining to what we know today. All right. We can link America now to Babylon the Great. OK, we can we can go into Ezekiel, the 37 chapter and say, look, this is happening now. To bring comfort unto our people. All right, this is the book of Habakkuk 2 and 2. And the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain up on tables that he may run that readeth it. All right, now, within this vision that Habakkuk received, all right, from chapter 2 to chapter 3, okay, he, he because the, the question was, Lord, wh when are you going to end the heathen ruling? You see, so the Lord gives him a vision of how the nation who he would end it all through, which is Esau, how they would rule. All right. And then in the third chapter, okay, there's ultimately a vision of how it's going to be done. Okay. And, 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 and it's a lot of hidden, you know, codes that ultimately weren't expounded on by Habakkuk. So the prophets now are back here today. All right. As, you read in verse two, Habakkuk two and two, and the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. See, that he may run that readeth it. So the prophets, all right, now are the prophets of old back, okay, uh, uh, reading these visions, running to the highways and the byways, doing these lessons to make sense of it all, okay? Through the Holy Spirit of promise, the Holy Spirit has been sent from on high via the comforter. OK, and the prophets go out on the highways and the byways and do these lessons. And those who have ears to hear can make sense of these things. Even the statement in Revelation, the 13th chapter. All right. Nine and ten. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Right. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. We can now expound on that. See, and make it plain. See, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. At the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it because it shall surely come to pass. So the prophets who are back here today are the prophets of old expounding on the various visions that they received. A great example of this is let's get Daniel the 12th chapter because it was promised that what? The books would be sealed. All right. But at the end, we know through Yahweh Shai. All right. The, uh, the seals will be unloosed and the understanding will come. All right, this is Daniel 12 and 4. But thou, Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. All right, so yeah, on the left-hand side, we know knowledge is being increased. But how about on the right-hand side, through the prophets? Knowledge has been increased. There is a more in-depth understanding that has been given unto the men of the Lord to come out and make sense of what this Bible is really talking about. OK. What this was also told unto Daniel, Daniel 12 and 13, but go thy way to the end be, but thou shall rest and shall stand in thy lot at the end of days. All right. Daniel himself was told to stand in his lot at the end of days. OK, let's get a, let's get what was told to Ezra's. 
So if Daniel is standing in his lot in the end times, all right, his knowledge <laughs> and understanding has been increased, all right, for the perfecting of the saints, okay? Ephesians, the fourth chapter. Ephesians 4 and 11. He gave some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors, some teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Hamashiach. Okay? Because if we came out, all right, just simply reading the visions that the ancient prophets wrote, okay, and not giving a full understanding and breakdown of them, then basically it would just be, basically our people could just read the Bible, just, just read it on their own. No, the Lord sent teachers and the prophets of this age are the prophets of old coming back in their lot. As a matter of fact, what was I going to get? The book of second Edras. See, and Christians don't have confidence in what's written in the scriptures. And a lot of you Israelites don't really have confidence in the power of what's written in these scriptures. But the elect are going to believe on a whole nother level. See, the elect are going to know and understand that the prophets that are here being raised up are the prophets of old. We don't know which prophet is which. All right. Though some with some brothers, you have, you know, the uh, uh, inkling like this could be that brother. I mean, that's going to happen in Israel. That's always happened. Even at the time of Yahweh Shai. They were saying he could be this prophet. He can be that prophet. John was this prophet. John was that prophet. So that's going to happen. All right. But the bottom line is that we understand that reincarnation is in the scriptures. OK. Regeneration, meaning you, you come again in, a, in, in the flesh, but the spirit tied to that particular body given to that body. All right. Is the spirit of an ancient prophet being raised up again to do a mighty work in the earth. And Malachi, the fourth chapter, talks about the final admonition, the final warning, admonishment. OK, so this is the book of Second Edges four. OK, because Esdras was asking, Lord, when are you going to end it? Right. So this is Second Edges four. And let me just get to the point. In 34, and he answered me saying, do not thou hasten above the most highest for thy haste is in vain because Ezra wanted the end to come in his time. OK. For thy haste is made in vain. To be above him, for thou hast much exceeded. Did not the souls of the righteous ask questions in, uh, uh, of these things in their chamber, saying, how long shall I hope on this fashion? When cometh the fruit of the floor of our reward? And that's a good question, see, but through comforting of the Holy Spirit and through the right doctrine, you understand that the Lord is going to allow Esau to be raised up and he's going to allow him to do his thing before the end came. It wasn't going to come at the time of uh, uh, that Ezra was, was back in the flesh at this time. But watch this. And unto these things, Uriel, the archangel, gave them answer and said, even when the number of seeds is filled in you. See, for he have weighed the world in the balance. So that would mean that. What is this saying? That would that's telling Ezra that there is a amount of seeds that you're going to have to be born into the earth. OK. A particular amount of times until that final seed is in the earth to preach and prophesy. And how do we know Ezra is here? Ezra, as he was writing particular vision, said, woe is me. How shall I deliver myself in those days? All right. Let's get that real quick. Second Edra 16 and 17. Woe is me. Woe is me. Who will deliver me in those days? Even in Habakkuk's vision, as we were reading. OK, he talked about the chariots of salvation. Now we are back here today to show you that that can be associated with what with, with people call spaceships. But as he was writing a vision, he was speaking as if he was there because he is here. And this is what people don't understand. OK. <laughs> people don't understand these things, but the point being. 
All right? Because he's asking, when are we going to get the reward? Well, the angel said what? Verse 36, and to these things, Uriel, the archangel, gave them answer and said, even when the number of seeds is filled in you, for he have weighed the world in the balance. That's the answer to all of the prophets. In the final generation of the prophets having to come into the earth and preach and prophesy is when the reward comes. Why? Because by measure have he measured the times, and by he number have he numbered the times, and he did not move nor stir them until the said measure be filled. When you go to Daniel, the seventh chapter, okay? When you go to Daniel, the seventh chapter, Okay, it gives you an outline of the various different captivities that we would have to go into. All right, and the final captivity is the extension of the Roman Empire, the extension of the fourth beast. That's when the Lord, okay, is going to take this devil down and set up the righteous kingdom. And we believe through faith that we're here through the proper doctrine. Now we understand this is where we are. We're in the extension of Rome. We're in that final captivity where the Lord is getting ready to set up a righteous kingdom and through line up online precept over precept we too we too know that it's going to be esau who's ruling in that time okay now let's get the book of revelation the 11th chapter okay this is revelation the 11th chapter in the 18th verse and the nations were angry and thy wrath is come in the time of the dead that they should be judged judgment is coming Okay, the dead are the heathen, okay, and the two-thirds, all right? We're the children of life, see? That thou shouldest, get, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and to them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. So the reward comes to the prophets in this time. Through the fall of what? Babylon the Great. That's why when you get Revelation, the 18th chapter, when Babylon falls, in verse 20, when Babylon is destroyed, it says, Rejoice over her, thou heaven, all right, the elect, and ye holy apostles and prophets, for God hath avenged you on her. So the apostles and prophets are here. Okay? Did not Yahawashai tell them in Acts, let's get it in the book of Acts, Acts the uh, first chapter and the eighth verse it says but ye shall receive power because the, the, the question was the same question that Ezra's had <laughs> Acts 1 and 6 when they were therefore come together they asked him saying Lord will thou at this time again restore the kingdom to Israel see which is ultimately the throne of David. That's what they were longing for. Right? And he said unto them, it is not for you to know the times of seasons which the Father hath put in his own power, but you shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit has come unto you, and you shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria. All right, which that's recorded in the book of Acts and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. Okay, the ends of the earth, which the Northwest Hemisphere is known as the ends of the earth. This is where we are, and we have received power. We've received the Holy Spirit of understanding to go out and preach and prophesy, all right, to, 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 to go into the various visions and prophecies, to go into what Moses wrote in the Torah, and to make understanding of it to our people, going into the sons of God, going into... Uh, 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 Genesis the sixth chapter and how that's not talking about a, ha a hybrid race of angel have men no the understanding is coming out in these times via the prophets okay and they have more understanding than the prophets of old but they are the prophets of old they're just in another time and truth has returned unto them as we just read in the book of Sirach the uttermost parts of the world so that's not a proud statement but Again, these things that we say are only for those who have ears to hear. Eschatos, in last time or place, in last and serious, in last and temporal succession, all right, which the last captivity is through Esau Edom. 
You see, so why you Christians are trying to take particular talking points of the prophets that are over your head and try to make it seem as though we're proud, crazy, and demons, all right? <laughs> You're through. And you have a reactionary uh, 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 gospel. Your gospel is predicated upon what the Israelites do and to try to make them look bad. Meanwhile, the world around you is being geared towards Satanism and it's even being pushed on children. You don't have anything to say. Referring to last in time. Okay, so the last scripture I'll get, which is so many we can get. All right, is Sirach, the 36th chapter and 11. Gather all the tribes of Jacob together and inherit thou them as at the beginning. Okay, and we're going to return to those heavenly bodies. Okay, and eventually rule on earth. Lord, have mercy upon the people that is called by thy name and upon Israel, whom thou hast named thy firstborn. Be merciful unto Jerusalem, thy holy city, the place of thy rest. Fill Sion, Israel, the elect with thine unspeakable oracles and thy people with thy glory. See, the unspeakable oracles are the prophecies. All right. And that will come through divine intervention that will come through the heavenly father through his only begotten son sending understanding down see john the revelator couldn't say all right well this is talking about america see that came in this time there's hints in various different prophets okay uh, uh jeremiah called this place marathiam now mar uh, uh is bitter okay when you when you when you go into uh, 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 America, America, Amargo, it means bitter. So there are hints in the scriptures, but the prophets that are here today are sent to 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 link all of these things together to present it to the elect as a testimony against this world and a witness before the destruction comes. Right. So Phil Sion, the elect with thine unspeakable oracles and thy people with thy glory, give testimony unto those that thou hast possessed from the beginning. See? And raise up prophets that have been in thy name. Give testimony unto those that thou hast possessed from the beginning and raise up prophets that have been in thy name. Give testimony unto those that thou hast possessed from the beginning. All right? Because when were the elect chosen? From the foundation of the earth. Okay. Ain't that written in the book of Ephesians? Ephesians the first chapter. Ephesians the first chapter. In the fourth verse. Or third verse. Blessed be the most high and father of our Lord. Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. Who have blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Hamashiach. According to as he have chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be blameless and without blame before him in love. All right. That we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestinated us into the adoption of children by Yahweh Shai, according to the good pleasure of his will. All right. So those very prophets that were chosen from the foundation of the earth. All right. Those men are here. Right. They're here. Okay. <laughs> And we know of some of them by name, but there's a lot we don't know by name. And they're back today in their lot doing a mighty work. As a matter of fact, real quick, second Ezra. One. Second Ezra one. And 38. And now, brother, behold what glory and see the people that come from the east to whom I will give for leaders, Abraham, Isaac. Okay. And Jacob, Hosea, Amos, Micah, Joel, Obadiah, Jonah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi, which is called the angel of the Lord, which angel just means messenger. So these are the leaders. OK, and these men are back today. Some are literally <laughs> right before your eyes. Some are in the spiritual realm, which uh, uh, pursuant to Revelation 14 they're, they're, uh, uh, they're, they will get their reward anyway. When Yahweh Shah returns, everybody's going to be restored to their original rank and order. But the bottom line is that the prophets are here. 
with, 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 with more understanding than back then. OK, because they're expounding on their very prophecies and they're given understanding of things pertaining to now that we are to teach our people and comfort them on. So the final scripture, Sirach 36 and 15, give testimony unto those that thou hast possessed from the beginning and raise up prophets that have been in thy name. Reward them that wait for thee and let thy prophets be found faithful. Hopefully I will edify it on to the next. Shalom.